Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tool Shop. Today is going to be kind of an unusual day, filming from the end of the day, filming the intro. Um, today is not what I was expecting at all. It, I ran out of propane earlier this morning. I, while well, I've kind of used the last little bit, I had my tank. I got a little bit of work done on some tongs. You'll see in a little bit. And then afterwards, I was just making uh, some new fullering dial dies. I also started working on the 2x72 again, so let's jump into that. is being put on hold currently. Even though I'm able to get away with using two 20 pounders um, to, to run my forge for like hours on end, with me actually using the forge for the past like four days of using it for like five, six hours every day so far, um, this is... Unfortunately, I think I just ran out of propane. Yeah, minor issues. With that being said, <laughs> Besides from making the tongs, I'm also making another set of uh, these quick change dies. And all it is, I just grind a little flat on both sides, two half inch pins, just sits right in and then it gets locked in place from the side. Alright, so I now have these guys plug welded in, but as you notice, there's nothing actually to the die yet. And that's because I need to cut it out of this piece of 5 8 round 4140 that I'm going to be sitting in the middle of that and welding on. But before I do that, I not only need to cut this up and grind that down, it's magically cleaned and the two bars are cut and I set this up to keep welding. I'm deciding to change it up a bit and come back and work on the 2x72 grinder here as I have to drill holes in this piece of angle iron, the mount, to mount the piece of tool steel. I already have these drilled and tapped. I was lucky enough I did that on a mill at work. I'm going to dig around here to find some scrap. I already have all the material I need for the wheels. The one other thing I got to do up here is the bracket for the actual tracking wheel just to help really track and tune everything up. Jump into drilling some of this stuff.
finally got everything made and I've actually started moving on to the wheel portion, but I'm going to leave that for another video because I So far I have managed to get the tracking mechanism like completely made, so I like this wasn't even included in the plans at all. Um, Brian House suggests buying them, but I'm kind of cheap and I like making my own tools. Like I even went out and bought bearings just to make my own wheels, especially because you know it gives me good experience too, right? Just took this piece and because this is two inches, this is one inch. Once I put the quarter inch hole through both of these pieces, ground down the corner so in that way this can pivot and then also cut out and then hand filed in this part. It does also have a bit of a relief on it so it actually angled down as well as can go up so in that way there's in case the belt ever needs to be down that far for whatever reason. And I also got the platen so this is now a piece of hardened steel for the platen face. One thing that's also really cool about the Brian Host Revolution 2x72 grinder is that it has such a large platen, like it's 11 inches long from here to here, which is amazing. Because Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hang that red button with the bell notification down below. Give it a big thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and we'll see you tomorrow.